that it? Mm-hmm. Nice. We got it. On the road again, and the manual. First. Dang it. All right, so second. Got it. I did it. See if you can see it. Cummins generator. Cummins generator. I should have stopped. Look at this Ford, guys. Stack on the back. Thing is sick. Uh, that house. That house. Look at that house. Would you like that house? Yeah. Look at the woods behind it. Guys, we're now in fifth gear. So yeah, made it up that high, and it's it's pretty fun. So if you guys are thinking about getting a manual transmission vehicle or swapping to a manual transmission, like if you guys have a Ram 2500 and you have a 4th Gen Cummins, you can get the G56 manual. And I must say it's very fun because you can high rev, you can low rev, it's, there's just so much more to it and you really get in touch with the vehicle. So definitely, definitely pick up a manual or swap to a manual if you're thinking about it. Oh my gosh. Do you not understand I'm driving a manual? Old oh. Ford way back there. GMC right there. It's L5P D Max. Changed up the engine even though it's still a 6.6 .6 liter. Yeah, they changed a lot on those new Duramaxes. Alright, so here we go. Try to get that shift going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. That's a nice Ford right there. Uh, I like it. No chrome. Okay, so we're in first. Car behind is Prius. Oh. oh my gosh. Catching up to him now for honking at us. There we go. And the Ford is right behind us. I don't think we're going to catch up. Shift down. Yep. sweating now because of this so we're pulling up here this car is 199 213 miles on it and it's still running great and the transmission is gonna outlast everything because well it's a manual I got it in neutral now so I put it in gear and then turn it off All right. and that's it we made it we made it so we made it here obviously to the lake and if you guys didn't believe me 199 213 on this ford and check it out the wheels and caps were recently painted black looks a lot better than the silverish color was and then the rust was painted over red so this is definitely the ultimate off-road vehicle right here so this trip is going to be about as long as the thousand steps which really tired me out for a couple days but at least we don't have to incline like the other trip. Well, the fog is really rolling in now, so I'll try to get you guys the highlights of this entire lake. It's probably gonna be about 10 miles round trip, and it's definitely gonna rain today, so we're probably gonna get rained on as well. So this is gonna suck, but I think we'll make it out alive. Here's the part of the lake that's on the, on the Google Maps, and you can see you can walk through the trenches there. But I've actually never walked over here to fish. This looks really cool. I'm gonna walk out on this rock. Oh yeah. Whoa, it's kind of slippery here. Yeah, this would be a cool fishing spot. Not that far of a walk either for a lot of you guys that don't like the long walks. It's a pretty cool place. I can see why it's on the map now. We're about to see the entire lake. It's just a random big rock. Look at that, this place is cool. Look how big that rock is. Doesn't look like there's a way up one. So here's a fishing spot as well. You can see the whole lake. So it doesn't look like there's a way up on the rock. Hello? Yo, what up? What up? What up, my nigga? Where's Mike? We could have went to cigars. Ah. It's not even raining, dude. So what? Uh, 
We could have went. Fuck that. Come on, dude. No, I have to work my truck. Really? Yeah. What happened? My fucking ABS went out. Damn, dude. Yep. Are you guys getting to go fishing later? Fishing later. Um, it's going to get dark soon, and I have to work on my truck, so... I don't know about that, man. Dang, dude. Maybe Tom. Maybe Tom Gog. Yeah, dude. Alright. See ya. See ya. Still on the trail here. Long way to go. As you heard on the phone there, that was Sam. Sam has that 2005 with a lifted... Well, he has a leveling kit on it. And 35s on a single cab 2500 HD with a 6.0 engine. And Dude. Nice. <laughs> Dude, it looks so good. So how's the ride with all the new suspension components? Way smoother, dude. I went over, to tra I went over train tracks before it was like going over in a tank, over like a small car. Yeah. But now it's like smooth. Apparently his ABS went out. That sucks. It always sucks that it's always the dumb computers on. The newer trucks always have these dumb computers and always causes problems. Thought I found a map up here, but that's not going to help us. Guess we'll have to just keep following the trail. Put 3,000 into your red car. That's 200. That's too much. Yeah. That's a lift kit right there. Yep. The one thing that I'm getting out of doing this whole loop around the trail is that I'm going to be able to see where the fishing spots are. Because if I just, if I only had a certain amount of time to go fishing and I'm looping around the I'm walking around the trail, I may never even find one, and then I never even go. But at least now, I'll be able to figure all of them out. So I always record in 2.7K, but now I record in 1080p because I was rendering it down to 1080p anyway. So I figured I might as well just record in 1080p 60 frames and check out that tree. Yeah, it was one of these tables down here that I had the 4th of July, and it was, it was pretty cool. Eat some burgers and stuff. So there's the WEC building right there. It would be like a school field trip during elementary school and we'd always fish off the edge right here and people would catch them and yeah I think uh, we, the guy would give you a little piece of worm and then you'd use these kind of makeshift fishing rods but anyways during middle school we went on the kayak or canoe testing to see if we can get a boating license I didn't know what, at which point they were testing us I thought we were just going on a a test round or whatever so i was crashing into everybody on purpose so i didn't get my license so don't you hate it when people take them damn selfies oh wait no that's self live look at that a bald eagle's wingspan is 6.5 feet wow they received federal protection in 1940 and through successful conservation efforts bald eagle numbers have dramatically risen in 2011 researchers found 217 nests across the state Weck building where they would teach us about nature and poison ivy. The dog is named Tesla after the inventor from a long time ago, not after the text Tesla Model X number two that just came out and is going to be well released pretty soon and people are gonna be buying them up for $200,000. Found a willow cabin. I've always thought about renting them out. Hopefully no one's in there right now. New house tour. Looks like there's an ashtray. Turn the key clockwise. All right, I'm out of here. Carpenter Bee Chamber built this. Once they enter, they never leave. Oh. <laughs> Found where the yurts and cottages are. That's what I was just at. I've never been to that in this part of the lake before. Pretty cool. Oh, it's recording. All right, so just getting a quick water break in. Finally made it to the campsites. I've never been to this part of the lake, and I've been coming to this lake my entire life. So about to just get a quick water break, and then we're going to head back onto the trail. So, yeah! Looks like we're back to where we started, but obviously the car isn't here. And then we got this cool shed that I wish I had right there. 
So basically I just buy a bunch of houses, but I still stick to the main one because that's where all the stuff is at. So I'd have to move it all out and it's kind of cold out. So we're probably just going to keep those houses, keep working on them, but I'll probably just stay a main base for a while. I was also looking at a house and I think it was about $900 a month. It had a separate garage, a good amount of woods behind it. A separate garage, two car garage. I don't even know if the trucks would even fit into those garage doors. They were very small. They looked small enough for a very small car or something. So I figured once they're lifted, or at least if I go higher, I don't think they'd fit at all. And there's not much room to really work on them anyway in there as the trucks are now. So I don't know if it'd be worth it. Someone's yelling. What do we do? This is freaking me out. There it is. Campground host, two American flags, firewood for sale here. I'm thinking we're going the right way. We're not on the trail anymore, but we did go around the end part. So I think we're making progress, but who knows? All right, what do we got? B-loop, campsites, camp host, boat launch, yurts, and cottages. Scary noise is going on in the background, but there is the, the a plenty of four trucks right here. I don't know why there are so many here in a line six of them this is the well actually they're all nice because they all have the extended cab i'd take one of the new ones but yeah these are really nice fords randomly here for some reason got an f-250 right here four-wheel drive i'm sure that's probably just a gasser i love those headlights I know that the new chevy really did copy them got a bed cover on it holy crap the cab sits high like look at this I'm standing up and it's so much taller than my truck, both of them, even the lifted Silverado. Interior, pretty basic, looks like a Mustang interior. Just a ton of buttons, no touchscreen, I don't get it. But they do look cool on the outside, I'll give that to them to Ford. I love the cab lights, they look cool on the outside, they sit very high, they're not going any lower, I like that. Four wheel drive, I'm pretty sure, it has to be, it's a work truck, right? Got a nice cab in the back, there's actually a good amount of room for how small the cab actually looks. Big gas cap. Looks like they got a separate thing there. I'm not really sure. It's a gas, so I don't see what that would be. I don't see why they'd have a DEF tank. Get you another picture of that. Yeah, I've got a pack of them. I got about 25. Wow, nice. And I, usually I hunt around 13 or 15, but I didn't feel like that today. Yeah. My boss trains around dogs for groundhogs. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. There's more moving parts to that. This is these guys have a lot of instinct. Okay. So they, uh, you know, other than the really losers, they, most of them pick it up pretty well. Okay. Some are better than others. This is a good one. Oh, and you're a good one. Yes, you are. Really cool dogs. My dad had a dog, like one of them, and the guy said he had 25 dogs. So we're now on this trail here, back on the trail, and it's very wooded compared to before. The rain has begun, like I said, it was going to rain, and it's going to continue to rain all night. I think it's tomorrow. So hopefully it doesn't start pouring because I do not have a raincoat, poncho, taco, or an umbrella. Let's go across another bridge. I don't know which is the right way, and oh no. Oh no. Alright, we got a fuel up. Tanks are empty. It's been a quite a long time. Dang, I actually don't know. I had to. There we go, we got it. Alright, here you go. 